here's everything we need for this project, uh, the elongated linear figure. Um, we need to start off a block of wood as a base, some nails to support the legs, a uh, hammer, hangers, some kind of pliers to cut those hangers. Uh, and then here's our paper mache that we're going to spread over that once we've built the armature out of all these materials over here. Um, aluminum foil to build the figure up, uh, paper mache clay, some plastic lids to cut some spreaders because this stuff is pretty messy. Gloves are really handy. This stuff can be messy and you don't want to have to constantly wash it off your hands. Um, so let's get started. So I've got my hangers here and I'm going to build my armature for this figure here. Uh, we're going to play around a little bit with abstraction. We're making a human figure, so it's going to be a figurative piece. Uh, but when you abstract something, you simplify, stylize, or distort. You want to make it really long and stretched out. Here is a more representational or realistic proportion. A uh, human figure you could think of as anywhere from six to eight heads tall. So my this head is maybe a thumb right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven. Uh, wasn't doing that all that careful. This one's also maybe a thumb, so let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, maybe fifteen or sixteen heads tall. So the reason why I'm going over this, I want you guys to think a little bit about proportion when you're doing this piece, about distorting your piece and elongating, making something really stretched out. I'm going to work with hangers. I'm not going to tweak the size of this thing, I'm going to let the hangers kind of dictate this figure a little bit. So I just wanted to talk about that stuff first. So first thing is to grab these two hangers. I already cut these in the take home packs, just in case you guys didn't have pliers. I've got some needle nose pliers, um, needle nose because they're a little tip here. They look like a needle, like a hummingbird, but they can cut right in here. If you ever have pliers and they have this little circle and there's these two sheer things, you can cut there. There's many kinds of pliers that cut, some don't. Um, but I grabbed these. Um, so what I want to do is find the halfway point right here. I'm just going to go down here, grab that and pull it and then snap that there. Okay. So I'm going to take these, open them up, straighten that out a little bit. Um, I'm going to take this hanger, this top and just straighten that out. Tried to give everybody thin hangers. So it's, you really don't have to wear out your fingers doing that. Um, but if you're having a hard time doing it, see if they're is a set of pliers around the house that you could work those out. I'm going to open this one up and I've got these two pieces here now. So I've got these two what, what do you want to call those letter kind of Y like shapes. So I'm going to take those and put them like that. You almost magically get a figure. You've got a torso, you've got hips, you've got legs coming down and then arms going up and this little piece gives you a neck. So you can play around with these proportions, but that is kind of the maximum length of your torso right there, here to here. Um, you could play around with the hips. Um, you could bring this out more, but I'm gonna recommend that you guys keep them fairly narrow. Because remember, we can. this is just an armature. This is not the finished figure. So your piece, the hips might end up way out here. Um, I'm gonna try to keep them fairly narrow. Um, I could even bring this in more if you had some pliers. Grab that and bend that tighter. If you feel like you've got the hand strength to do this, we could just wrap this thing around. If we were in the classroom, I have vices and pliers you guys could use. But if you think that's gonna be an issue, you could just use some tape or bread ties, whatever you have. And uh, wrap that thing around. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two and bend these two together. I'm just gonna grab this thing, pull it up, and there's a lot of different ways I could do this. But I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to throw some tape around it. So I've got hips. I've got a torso or the spine that the torso is going to work around. I've got a little bit up here for a neck. and Later on, I'll add a head to the top of that. And I've got these arms going out into the distance, but I'll either cut those off later on or double them up if I don't have something to cut them with. I'm going to go ahead and bend this a little bit. I want some extra. These aren't necessarily going to be the feet. These are going to be like tree roots that I can bend later on. I kind of carelessly just kind of folded those to show you. I want to keep everything symmetrical. I want to keep everything the same length. So if the hips are bent correctly, I want to come down here 
and make sure that this thing is bent at the same place. This is really cheap kind of garbage steel that they put in hangers. And sometimes it will only bend once or twice. Think of taking a loaf of bread and twisting it or folding it, it's gonna break right away. And hangers can't fold many times. If you keep on doing it, that metal is going to break. So keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and make the shoulders just about the same width, maybe a little bit narrower than the hips. So I'm going to grab that. So I'm going to grab that and just fold it down to almost 90 degrees. I want them to be the same, so I'm just going to put a thumb or a finger and come on over here and do the same amount, bring that down. So I'm gonna figure this out, the proportions of exactly where I want everything to be. To do that, I'm gonna take a piece of paper, one, two, we're really close. So I'm just gonna tape these two pieces of paper together. A realistic figure might be somewhere between six and eight heads tall. From doing heads, you might remember that our heads are based on one, three, five, seven and each of those ones is an eye okay so our heads are five eyes wide one two three four five and seven eyes tall which i'm not going to do those all out but it's about that tall okay so our eyes kind of fit in a five by seven box which is pretty close to a piece of paper just take one of those and kind of make a smaller box and the ratio of that box is close to this piece of paper right. and I've got these three boxes here because you can actually fit a head on each side of the shoulders just about so that's why I have three boxes up top let's bring that down you can put the torso somewhere about in the middle right. legs coming out knees right. sort of hourglass like shape shoulders for the pivot points Elbows, depends on how long those. Elbows, depend on where you're gonna put those. On average, people are eight heads tall. Um, so you can see that does look kind of stretched out. It really depends on how wide I made those shoulders as well. So let's play around with this to stretch this out even more. I'm going to take a piece of paper. One, two. We're really close to where that needs to be. So I'm just going to tape these two pieces of paper together. Here's my shoulders. I'm not going to go much more than that. And it looks like my head is going to be somewhere up there. So I've cut this thing down. I cut a little bit off of that paper, so it would be just about where that head's going to go. And now I'm going to fold this one, just like I did this one in half. Now, unlike this one, where kind of the hips are right about in the center of the figure from head to toe, again, right about there, that breakdown is in the center, so the legs are below it, the torso and the head's above it. I'm just going to use what the hanger has already given me here, which is going to stretch out these legs and play around with perspective, or with diminishing perspective. As something gets further away from you, it looks smaller and smaller. It means the legs are going to be really long instead of being somewhere around that, around that middle point. Um, I'm going to make this simple. I'm going to take the legs and cut that in half. You could count this. This is 11 up to here, so if I go up five and a half, one, two, three, four, five and a half, that's where the knees are gonna go. The hands come down, if they're open, go down somewhere mid-thigh. On this piece, here's my thigh, and that would be about half. I could go there, but if I wanna play around with this diminishing perspective, I'm gonna come up even a little bit higher. So I'm gonna go there. Now, if you have pliers at home, it's gonna make this a lot easier. I'm gonna go ahead and snip that. If you don't have pliers, you could just bring that up, fold it over, pull that in. You could even potentially, let's try this, fold this back and forth. Boom. 